It's Mugtastic Meals Week 1! This week, we're making macaroni and cheese in a mug in the microwave. We don't know how it's going to turn out. We hope it goes well. Stick around and see. All right, Miss Miranda, what do we need to make our macaroni and cheese in our microwave? So first you're going to start with one third of a cup of pasta, three fourths of a cup of cold water, four tablespoons of milk, one fourth of a teaspoon of cornstarch or corn flour, and salt and pepper, and four tablespoons of grated cheddar cheese. This recipe is going to take about 10 minutes to make and it serves one person. Okay, well we're going to make three batches today so that we can all try our macaroni and cheese and mm -hmm. let you guys know how it tastes. I'm right. hoping it tastes good. This is a mild one, right? This mm -hmm. isn't that big of a deal. So, I mean, macaroni and cheese is my favorite, so I'm excited for this one. All right, I hope we don't disappoint Miss Nina. <laughs> but stay tuned because we have lots of other crazy recipes coming. We're going to make pizza next week. And we have meatloaf on the menu. I'm not sure about that one, guys. I'm excited for that one. I'm excited for all of them. Lots I of can't them. wait. I don't know. We've also got some sweet things. We're going to make some desserts and stuff, too, in the weeks to come, so stick around. Let's get back to our macaroni and cheese. Miss Miranda, what do we have to do first? So step one. In a microwavable mug, you're going to add your water and your pasta. All right, let's do it. Okay, how much? A third of a cup. A third of a cup of our noodles. Which are the wrong noodles, by the way. <laughs> I had shells, not macaroni. Woo! So Maybe. now the table has macaroni too. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> and then how much water? Three fourths of a cup of cold water. I wonder why the water has to be cold. This is also a very good question. I was questioning that. You gotta fill it all the way up there. Here we go. Oh, and come on. All right, looks good. And we're gonna do that two more times. Woohoo! <laughs> Way to go, guys. All right, we have our three mugs full of noodley goodness. Now what? Now we're going to microwave these for three and a half to four minutes until the pasta is soft. Okay, we'll try Miss Miranda's big Starbucks mug first. Hashtag not sponsored. Not sponsored. <laughs> in the microwave. Oh, this would be a great thing to not have. Alright, coming out. Can you bring it over? Get too hot. Oh no! Did it make a mess? Okay. Ah. I don't want to. Alright. I hope those are cooked. Oop, we're fogging up the <laughs> camera. <laughs> Looks delicious though. We have to clean the microwave now. Yes, we do. We made a mess. A <laughs> mess. So maybe you should microwave your noodles on a plate so that it catches all the oh, wow. bubble over. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Microwave now. Technical difficulties. Signs. Okay. Because it's a little hot. <laughs> Tuck it out. Mine doesn't look like I have just as much water, but we're going to just kind of stir it up a little bit. Oh, it looks soft. Yeah. They do look very soft. So those are my noodles after they eat. Now yeah. Miss Paige's um, bug is almost done in the microwave. Here it comes. The moment of truth. 
Because it overflows. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a mess. When you take your mug out of the microwave, be very careful because it's super hot. It also probably made a mess. <laughs> oh my goodness. We'll be back after these brief messages. <laughs> Alright, there's our noodles. They're noodly. We made a big mess in the microwave, and now Miranda says we're supposed to take the water out, so wish us all real good luck. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Working. Don't lose your noodles. You can also use a colander at home. We're at the library. <laughs> okay, there we go. Got one. Now this is something your mom or dad might have to do. Now, the next thing is to add the cheddar cheese, the milk, the cornstarch, and the salt and pepper. So first, Ooh. we're gonna do uh, the cheese. We're gonna shred up some cheese. And a reminder, we need four tablespoons of grated cheddar cheese. Got our tablespoon ready. All right, we got some cheese. Yep. I don't know if it's enough yet. So we're gonna measure it out. Yeah. So we need, again, four tablespoons. Two. <laughs> this is not easy. Because I want this to. Three. Four. And now we're going to do that three more, or two more two times. Two more times. <laughs> Good. Okay. There's the cheese. Okay, what's next? Now we have to add the milk. And for milk, we need four tablespoons. Oh, get out the cheese tablespoons. <laughs> Can only afford one tablespoon at the library. <laughs> and we're gonna do that two, two more times. times. <laughs> Okay, what are we supposed to do next? Now we're going to add the cornstarch or the corn flour, whichever you have. We're going to add one fourth of a tablespoon. That's not very much. I think the cornstarch is like a thickener. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to stir it all up after you put all your ingredients. And the last thing, we're going to put in some salt and pepper. Is that to taste? Or is there yep, just to taste. If you don't like pepper, you don't have to put in pepper. And our recipe says <laughs> uh, to mix well. So we're going to mix this. And now it says to microwave for one more minute. Mm. Now all I have to do is stir it and eat it. That's pretty good. Oh, look at how creamy Ooh. that is. That looks really good. That looks good. All right.
Okay, so we're about to taste the mac and cheese. Mine has to come out of the oven, and we're gonna give our first impressions of our mug mac and cheese. Will you wanna make this at home? If you do, let us know. Yes. Nina, do you have any thoughts? What's it gonna taste like? Any thoughts on it? I think mine might be a little bit peppery, but that's okay because that's the amount of pepper that I put into it. But I think it's gonna taste delicious, and you could do this with any type of cheese. You can use the mild oh. cheddar like we did, or you can use another type depending on what your favorite cheese. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. You could get creative. Use some pepper jack or something. Mm. That would be delicious. That would be good. Miranda, any, any thoughts before we taste? I think it's going to be pretty cheesy. Cheesy and creamy. Too cheesy or good cheesy? No, good cheesy. Mm -hmm. Definitely good cheesy. Okay. All right, here we are with our Germex, our salt and pepper. <laughs> All kinds of things. Yeah. All right. You ready? Is it hot? I don't want to burn still pretty hot. hot. All right. Let's try this stuff. Two, one. Don't burn anybody. Two. <laughs> three. Hmm. Hmm. That's really good. It is very delicious. Yeah, it's definitely very cheesy. My noodles are cooked all the way. Mm -hmm. Yes. We thought they were be a little bit more al dente, but they were very cooked thoroughly. Hmm. Yeah, I think Miss Nina's right. It would go really well with lots of different kinds of cheeses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh, I think mine could use a little more pepper. Mine's very creamy. Yeah, it's a lot of my stuff with the bottom, so I have to keep stirring it. But that, I think that's mm -hmm. okay. Oh man, this is good. Very good. All right, guys, you definitely have to go try and make this at home. Try it, please. And send your pictures to us as well, because we'd love to see what you guys created. Yeah, go check us out on Facebook and send us a picture of all the fun things that you've done along with us this summer. Let us know if you've made the mac and cheese. Let us know if you made it different. Ooh, Maybe you yes. found uh, a technique that's better. Maybe you didn't make a big mess in your microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Take pictures of that, too, because we'd love to know. All right, guys, well... I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my mac and cheese. So mm. am I. I don't think Me too. I can make any more words other than just eat some macaroni and cheese. All Good right. stuff. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining us for thank our you. first episode of Mug Tastic Meals. And make sure to stick around because next week we're making pizza. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around and watching our videos. Pull out your bingo sheet and we're gonna pull a card out of here. And we pulled kiwi. So go ahead and mark that on your sheet. And uh, don't forget, if you get a bingo, make sure you bring it into the library to get your prize. And keep watching on Wednesdays and Fridays. Thanks.